this tee with tee quilts and it is March 23rd, 2024 and it is 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're here for live sewing chat, a two hour sewing space where I am working on my Winsleydale project today and uh, hopefully you are at home sewing along with me. So I'm going to give people a few minutes to get notifications in for some reason. YouTube is mixing up my start time. I put in 8, but it keeps showing at 9. So a lot of people are not in the room already waiting, thinking I'm coming on at 9. Just remember on Saturdays, I'm always live at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I've been having some issues with the YouTube upgrades. See, I want to put this phone on no notifications. <laughs> and do that. And then pull up the chat on this phone so I can read it. here and go back in so it looks like we've got Melody Kiefer here thank you for hitting the thumbs up button for me when she says her rent's paid Betsy I saw her today at scrap club Sylvia Martinez says hello Southeast Alaska that's one state I haven't been to I have to I'm I still got quite a few states, most of them on the west side of the USA that I haven't been to. Leetta Bryant, we missed you at Scrap Club, lady. Zandra's here. Remo Jazz says, good evening, Miss T and Quilters. Thumbs up, show your love and support. You won't be disappointed. So thank you, ma'am, for my pen message today. I never get a chance to do that. I've been in here cutting pieces that are on my board. <laughs> So, let's see. Katie Crafts is here. Dizzy, thank you also for hitting the thumbs up button. Carol Williams is here. She's sewing tonight, so that's awesome, awesome. Sharon Lewis is here, so she's here and her rinse paid, so thank you. I still have an email, you Sharon. You're the last one that I have an email. I have not, I forgot that I was going to be out of my house thursday friday saturday and tomorrow <laughs> so i've been doing just orders for the most part and then if i get a few minutes i do a few processing of things um but yeah but i i still got to contact you sharon i do have your envelope it came in the mail uh mini doula is here d branson janice miller francis jackson <laughs> Kevin the Quilter, he missed Scrap Club. He says, greetings from Baltimore, Miss T and all. T Quilters flying to Manchester, New Hampshire next. Oh my gosh. He all over the place. Linda S. Lunas says, hello from Connecticut. Welcome to the live chat. I have not seen your name before. Appreciate you commenting. Uh, Jonah Crutchfield says, hello from West Colorado. Welcome back. Maddie Barnum is here. She says she got her package. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Bonita Nance is here. I got an email I saw come through from you today. All I have time to do when I'm on my phone is I just delete all the emails that I know I don't want. And so I get rid of all the spam emails, the extra emails about everybody's newsletters. And then I just put a little star on the ones that I need to go back and look at later. But I did get your information. And then she says she's working on foundation paper piecing block with Y-seam. So that's interesting. So that's pretty cool. 
And uh, also, if you haven't already, you can put your projects that you're working on. I'll read what you're working on as well. <laughs> Leah, the time she forgot. I sent out an email, but I didn't send it out until like yesterday evening. So if you don't check your email in the evening, then you wouldn't have seen it. Sue GSD is here. Says, good evening, tea and fellow quilters. Uh, to beautiful St. Louis, for those who want to know, <laughs> 94 days to the most wonderful quilt retreat hosted by the most wonderful tea. So yeah, I was telling somebody at uh, Scrap Club today, we got less than 100 days. I knew we were at 90 something on Wednesday when she gave a report. So yeah, the, these days are about to come up. I got one retreat before then. And it seems like I got something else. I can't remember before then, but I do know I have another retreat before then. Hi, Rose Hinton. Welcome. Vanessa Brown. Uh, Dolores. You're welcome, Sharon. Got Dolores Feltz. Dainty Diva. Thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up. I don't remember you commenting, but thank you for commenting. She could have, and I just don't remember her name. Sheila Willis is here. Jason Lewis, I got to sit and chat with him today. It was fun. I don't know. I don't know if Jason and Kevin and I should be ever sitting together in a group. I just, I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> uh, T. Roberts is here. Dizzy says she just finished her my quilt top last night. So today was spent searching for a perfect backing, still hunting. <laughs> and I'm one of them people that I really don't care overall what's on the back of my quilt. And I guess because I never put my quilt on the bed on the wrong side. But I do I know a lot of people do, so I do understand. But I just have never gotten the bug for that one. And Sue said she really needs to go downstairs and put a quilt on the long arm. So, yeah. So, Winsleydale is a pattern by Jen Kingwell. I, um, these are, whoops, what did I just knock down? I didn't even see anything. I have no idea. I don't see anything. Um, we are working on the Winsleydale blocks. At, by the end of this month, I'm trying to get caught up. I should have my blocks looking like this. This is going to be the final round that would make it back rectangular. So we're getting closer to the end. We're doing um, one round because we got 60 blocks. So we do 30 blocks each month, a round on 30 blocks each month. So we're technically taking two months to do a round. This is what... The block will look like when it's completed oh i got them pinned okay so we'll just hold them up like that i think i'm trying to see if the eyeball is like that <laughs> trying to make sure the eyeball wasn't upside down but yeah so your our finished blocks are looking like this so um i have about 20 blocks to still make so i'm getting closer i only had 20 when i first started this month completed uh on time which is was last saturday right yeah this is the fourth so i have been doing some cutting i have done some some sewing off the screen as well so i've got this stack that are ready to be the next round to be put on and then i'm still missing three blocks i have not looked for those um i have i did not see them in my case i did check that last time so i either got to make three more blocks but i need to have all of my blocks caught up by the end of this month so i got one more week to get these blocks completed so let's see if anybody else has come in Remo is reminding people to hit that thumbs up button so that the numbers don't match. So thank you, Miss Remo. Uh, I, I don't comment a lot. I listen and learn. Okay, so that's cool. 
and then sue says who's going to queenie park tomorrow i i'm i'm probably gonna be there i hope i don't forget i'm gonna try to remember when i get off of here to set my timer for me to get up i need to see what time they start i don't know what the start time is i'm trying to figure out this isn't at queenie park i thought this was in kirkwood Am I, am I, is it two quilt shows this weekend? I thought we were doing a modern quilt gill at, uh, in Kirkwood. Is it in Queenie Park? Girl, I better look. Hi, Cynthia Shea. She says, good evening from Chicago. <laughs> uh, Vivian Calvi is here. Peggy O'Connor saw her at Scrap Club today. Thank you, Peggy, for being a member as well. And she's sewing along with me tonight. And Bonita says, I've hit two thumbs up. One on the TV and one on the phone. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. She says, it starts at 11. It's at Queenie Park. Okay, so I got to drive. Well, they're about, you know, it's this way or that way, right? I think Queenie Park is just a little bit further than where I was going. Okay, so that makes it even better. It's better. Um, I feel like it's better parking than in Kirkwood Rec Center area. So that's good. Then I'll be there at 11. Thank you, Betsy and Jason and Sue. All three of you replied. So maybe I'll be seeing you all there. Deborah Holloway is here from Chicago. Hello, Deborah. Peggy says it was at Kirkwood, but Queenie opens. at 11 okay because i didn't even realize on the flyer that they had changed the location isn't that crazy that's what i'm working with <laughs> all right so i have one block here that fell out last time from somewhere like out of the ceiling i guess off my ceiling fan so i will be fixing that and then i got a stack of six stack of six stack of four so i have 14 that I cut before I came on the live. So that's what I'm going to be working on is a stack of six. And I don't have them in any particular order. All I do is just lay them out and see which fabric looks best with it. This is five, ha ha, one more makes six. All right, stack of six here. assign them a spot and we just keep it moving I used to be all particular wanting to make sure everything was cut appropriately and now it's like girl let's get it done <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do so we're just sewing now but I do need to get all my blocks made hopefully we'll see if I'm successful, I need to get all my blocks done by the end of the month, even the ones that are have not been cut. Well, the ones that I've lost. I got three somewhere. I don't know where they are. As soon as I make the other three, then they'll show up. <laughs> I'll find them right away. Lietta saying she's not getting my emails. And I always tell people to check spam. And it's weird because Kevin said he didn't get an email, but other people got it because I've been sending out group emails. And so it's just weird. Very, very weird right now. I have no idea what's going on with mine. My... 
um, emails. Most of these fabrics, it doesn't matter which side, but every once in a while, I'll have a piece that still has had the sticker on it, so I'll make that part the wrong side. So that's when you see me switching things around. Deborah quilts <laughs> and Carla Ford came in hello Carla okay so it cost me eight dollars to get in okay thank you Betsy it's <sighs> a lot in my head I try to go to the local um, quilt shows, try to support them all. My quilt gill hasn't had a quilt um, show since 2019 before COVID. So I, I am in charge of getting it scheduled back up for 2025. So hopefully everything will go well with that. Oh, and I need to sew this one. I keep forgetting to sew this one I need to stitch on. So, let's put this up here. I just dropped my piece and the fan took it away really fast. Put that up there. And now I can put this on. I gotta... This is the round before the round I'm working on. But at first I couldn't find six. So now I'm down to I can't find three. So that's better. <laughs> I got a long string here. Gotta get it. My starting string. And I guess I can. Oh, I, that's why I had this turned on the other. Nope bring this over just need a hard surface to press on so I don't have to use my heated iron until the last seam so what projects are you guys working on I think I've only gotten two i already got one press sewn to the wrong side and didn't pay attention sometimes you know you get one of those african prints that's not an ankara and it does have a wrong side i was not paying attention i tried to look but this one got past me and my seam ripper is so dull, I can't run it through the seam anymore. You would think since I sell the replacement blades, I wouldn't have this issue. <laughs> the struggle is real. Seemed like there was some else, something else I needed to do while I was out in Baldwin, and now I don't remember what it is.
Okay, get you to the right side. Put this up. We're not going to use this again today. We're going to ignore that seam rip and we're going to look at these fabrics. <laughs> Trying to pull out these threads. All right, try this again. Side number two. And I can take the one off I just put on here and press it. All right. Deborah Sam's Brown is here. Hello, Deborah. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Deborah saying she didn't get an email. I'm trying to figure out which retreat. I think I sent out for 2025 because I'm still looking for people that haven't done their um, registration forms. Oh, this one. I think I'm done. Okay. I got this fan on high. I was in here hot kind of getting a little chill if you can believe it <laughs> i'm always hot now watch it watch i start breaking out in the hot flash or something because i cut it off cut it down i mean all right let's put this other side on guess i can put these pins back up <clears throat> Start my, and now I'm really looking. <laughs> I've had to rip already out the gate. Six seams in. Hi, Norma Brown. Welcome to the chat. She says, hello, everyone. Is there a pattern for the male African king? I don't have one yet. <laughs> so one of these days I do plan on making some of the males, but I have not. I've only made the uh, queen blocks. Paula Ford's talking to other people. Quilts by Carmel. Hey, Joe Carmel is here. Listening while working. Vicki Myers. Thank you. Saying the fabric is pretty. Welcome to the chat, Vicki. Helena Carter is here. And Vicki is going to sandwich a quilt tomorrow. So that's awesome getting to that final stage. And I'm finishing up with my round robin block. That's called a folk. Let's call it Ford. Liz is here from Michigan. Hi, Liz Wilson. Deborah says she's organizing her scrap finally. <laughs> That's cool. You always feel like you can just go make anything then. I had a person that she sews has never quilted as some she was uh with the girl scouts that meet at the same place where we meet apparently they changed their meeting times they used to meet 
the first, second, and third Saturday, but we meet on the fourth because there was no other time, and they met earlier in the day. Now they're meeting on Saturdays on, on and on the fourth, and they starting at three after we leave, but they came like one thirty. So I'm like, you show up very early for somebody that's um don't start till three. But you know, I'm I told them they can go if they can find a table and a place to work, they can go on in there. I didn't care. I did not care. Just as long as I didn't feel like they were trying to push us out, you know. It's very hard to find reasonable uh, space to rent uh, for quilting stuff at the churches because they're, they're just booked. And the Girl Scouts were there before us. So... Um, they had first dibs on what they got. It was, I was just amazed that they were in there that early today. I don't think it matters on this one. Just a couple. Well, I think it's just one in this batch, maybe. I'll know it when I sew the wrong side down. <laughs> I think it's only one in this batch that has a wrong side. I try to use all in cars, but I do like some regular African prints that are not two-sided, so I'll go ahead and use them because I don't want to not have them, you know? <laughs> and for quilting, for the most part, it doesn't matter. It's when you're making headscarves, clothing that it matters, especially if you put a slit in your clothing. New people here, if you got questions you want to ask, you can ask those. Uh, if I can answer them, I will. If I can't, I will let you know. You'll get my opinion and probably the opinion of some other quilters in the chat as well. All right, so we've got two sides on to the block we're trying to play catch up with. Gonna sew one more side while I get my piece off. So I can get my six blocks off. All right. And we can press these. And put on the end caps. Um, Kevin, I know Miss T is missing me. Try to comfort her from me, T Quilters. Kevin, go to work. <laughs> hey, Ray. Welcome, welcome to the chat. <laughs> uh, Michelle, the quilter is here. She says she cut out 122.5 inch squares for a mystery quilt clue today. Usually changed my rotary cutter blade today. Actually changed her blade today, finally used a safety glove too so that's awesome and thinking of rotary cutters i do have my creative grits rotary cutter here i just i cut with it earlier today i was cutting rough cutting t-shirts so i could put interfacing on the back at scrap club today that was my project and so i have been using this creative grits uh thing just for today and then i cut these pieces out today with it as well um the weight is weird because when you first pick this up this feels like the heaviest rotary cutter ever and then as you work with it even picking it up and putting it down while you're in the middle of cutting like readjusting your ruler and things like that it's like it the weight of it just kind of disappears so it's kind of strange uh that way it is when you first pick it up you're going to be like oh m to the g that is heavy and then you forget about it as you're cutting, and it's not so heavy. I do realize I don't have to press down as hard as I would with a lighter rotary cutter. I'm one of those people that really like to have a light rotary cutter. But I do understand what the weighted rotary cutter is doing as well. So just wanted to update you all on that. Hey, Kayla Villa. Welcome, welcome, girl. We'll see her in 2025. 
Uh, Annette J is here. And she's, uh, Kayla is prepping some Irish chains as I listen to the live. Yes. My scrap club is doing the uh, double Irish chain that we saw uh, Joe Carmel do on her channel. So, um, where she did it in African prints. And I really loved it. So, I think I'm going to do mine in African scraps. So, yeah. We're working. Getting stuff done. This is the top. I have to remember that. So I have to like lay all of these out so that they are in the right orientation. One of these things are not like the other two and it makes a difference. <laughs> Take this one off. I need to put that one other piece on here. So. So I had one that wasn't, that was, hadn't even made it to this stage yet. <laughs> so I had to put this on. And then I think I still have to make three more of these because I've lost them. So I'm going, I'm pedaling backwards, okay? Put this one on here. Uh -oh. A little lint on my um, quilt block, and I didn't want it to go into my machine because I just cleaned my machine at 7 p.m. because I did not come in here all week to do it. So I set an alarm. I took a, I did take a nap. I was so tired. I couldn't fall asleep last night because I'm used to being up to four and five that I didn't go to sleep till after five. And then I was tired for scrap club because I had to get up at seven. I ended up hitting the uh, snooze button and got up at 7.30. So then that means I was rushing. I got there exactly at nine and had two people already waiting on me. So... This is an eyeball that looked like it was going to be upside down if I didn't turn it. But, you know, nobody will ever know. All right, let me cut this iron on. We're on the last uh, piece that go on this first set of six. So that's cool. goal today was to get 12 of them done so we're already ahead of the game <laughs> I gotta I have to see how many more messages I got to read on here I stopped reading Deborah says she uh, finished cutting my stronger together quilt now to determine how to bind it quilting oh she's quilting not cutting quilting oh my goodness that's getting it done Claudette Bettis is here. Hello, Claudette. Welcome to the chat. We also have a new name, Benita Ha. Hello from Kentucky. Hello, Benita. Welcome to the chat. Uh, Sylvia says, I'm organizing scraps. They are starting to crawl out on their own. You got that right, girl. <laughs> So, 
I, the one thing I do like about them, now they're getting bigger, so I'm not hold, having to hold on to teeny tiny pieces. So this round is fun for that. And then I have my final round, which is going to put this back into a rectangular shape. I don't think I've ever done rectangular, like square and a square type blocks. So this was interesting as well. Okay. This is the one that's at the top. Let's see which side is the prettiest. On a couple of them, it does matter. I have a few black dots on this red, white, and black, but it doesn't really matter because it's already the colors, but I do know it has a right and wrong side. This is the one that can be a problem. A noticeable problem, anyway. <laughs> Sheila D. saying hello from California to Macula. Sheila D. I said her. Damali J. came in. Hi, Damali. Guess who? Nancy. Harriet Susan Franklin from Ringgold, Georgia. Jason says, Miss T, let me use... Oh, he says, Miss T, let me use the rotary cutter, and I really like the way it felt and cut. So, yeah. Let me know if you want me to see what they cost, Jason, and see what I can do for you. If you're interested, um, I'm still, like I said, I'm still testing it out, but it is the weirdest thing when you first pick it up, like the first time of use, picking it up for the day, it feels like it is the heaviest thing and you feel like you're going to be tired. Your wrist is going to be tired holding the weight, but that's not what happens. I was surprised because I normally cut my t-shirts with uh, my scissors and I used a rotary cutter today. Some of my shirts came out smaller because of it, but I wanted to test it out anyway. Let's see. Eyeballs go in the right direction. Thank you, thank you. I think I'll be the only one that would notice it anyway. But that's because those are my favorite fabrics. And they're going to be sideways eyeballs in the block anyway. So what difference do it make? But, you know, we do what we do. <laughs> All right, all of them are done. So I'm going to get another block set of six. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm about to press now. Okay, and then we'll take these sets of six and assign one. Okay. Well, maybe I need a pen. I'm just trying to sort and hold. Let's see what I got in here first. you over here got a pen that's determined to stick me one two three four five six okay hmm 
I'm going to change you out for something else for right now. They don't work with the current ones I have. And then this one goes on here. Just so I can get my six off to press. I'm behind in the chat. I apologize. I'm trying to make sure I at least get 12 blocks done today. That's my goal. I have 16 cut. I want to make sure my iron hasn't cut off. while I press. I don't want to press over the, those. I have this block I just sewed. Um, I am so bad at cutting. I ordered an AccuQuilt Go set. OM to the G, Vicky. I wish you would have used my link. <laughs> I do uh, love AccuQuilt die cutting. Uh, this project that I'm currently working on is we're working, uh, our goal, Kevin and I's goal was that we had not done any quilt that was all template based and then using actual templates to cut like plastic templates. Um, so that's what we're doing here. So I'll press all of these and then give you a look at them. I'm just lightly putting my iron over them so I don't stretch them. And then like I said, all of these will end up being rectangles. I showed them at the beginning of the live, what we're actually making. So we got one more round to put on. So instead of doing one block at a time, Kevin was, I had done three blocks because I was doing test blocks to show you all different ways to do them. And then um, Kevin was doing all of the same round at a time. So then I went and joined Kevin. All right, that's the end of that. All right, so this is one. Let me hold them on the end corners. That's one. This is two. Didn't get many of the eyeballs on that one. It's number three for tonight. Four. Number five. And number six. They go a lot faster if you cut your pieces out ahead of time. Imagine that. <laughs> All right, so. Just gonna stick a pin in this and pop it right there for now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and work on these others. Let's see, let me catch up <laughs> on the chat. Kim R is here, hello Kim. Looking forward to meeting you in June. Awesome, this is the first time I have caught a live with Miss T, so I was happy, yes. I have a lot of things about the AccuQuote. I show you how to like cut your scraps and things like that, how to bulk cut your scraps. Uh, Joe Carmel says, love that you get to go to scrap club and are able to sew every saturday not every saturday <laughs> we only we have scrap club once a month fourth saturday of the month i'm busy on the other saturdays with other things one of them was with kevin the quilter one of them is with my so so busy quilt club so three of my saturdays out of the month are uh, strictly for quilting 
Uh, I can't wait to retire and be like T. <laughs> She's so funny. Hi, Tammy boy. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Deb S is here. Um, uh, Sylvia Martinez says, my dinner is being served. I hope all goes well, everyone. Bye, Sylvia. June Hansen is here. Lenora Brown. And I don't know if that's a new name. If if so, welcome to the chat as well. I try to remember everybody. People saying the blocks are beautiful, awesome blocks. Love those blocks and fabrics. Wow, pretty, Miss T. And very nice. <laughs> Melissa LePage, no, she's not right. Talk about Ed Kevin. I think she is practicing to improve her aim. Miss T will not be missing you for long <laughs> i'm trying to get caught up and it seems like i'm never gonna get there but hey you know you keep sewing one piece at a time it'll get there i have not been sewing other than when i'm on the screen so it's only my fault that i'm behind but hey it's so much to do so little time and I got to start uh, machine quilting. I've been working on the, the update I did to my butler, testing out certain things before I put a customer's quilt on it because people were telling, you know, stating in the group what they had issues with. So far, I haven't had any issues uh, with the upgrade. And I'm also working in a better testing mode, which means I'm one of um, Quilt Easy's uh, software testers. So... I get the software. It's a new upgrade just came out. Well, it hasn't just come out. It will be out. I'm, I'm in a testing phase. And so I probably will never have the actual active version of Electric Quilt. Or Quilt. I'm playing Electric Quilt. The Quilt Easy. <laughs> it went from <laughs> long warm software to quilt design and software. <laughs> I got it all, <laughs> sadly, but I do use it. At least I'm using it. Yep, this one has a distinguishable backside. I got a couple other ones that, you know, are kind of wishy-washy, but, you know, but this one is distinctive. Got to pay attention. put the I put a pink panther print in here every once in a while I'll throw the um not <laughs> ah, the pink panther black panther <laughs> I need some sleep y'all I took that nap and I'm telling you I wanted to go right back to sleep okay I'm trying to figure out which way it doesn't really matter does it I think because it's just sitting there upside down, that's the problem on my board. I hadn't paid attention earlier. I got to uh, print that's directional, but I don't think it's going to matter. It's all cut up. You don't even know what it is, but I know. <laughs> June's reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much, June. Got two... Um, Do the other side, but I need to take my pieces off. Got these eyeballs again. At least they go in the right direction when they'll be in the quilt on this one. I thought about it and cut it right. All right, now we can take these other ones off and get them pressed. Uh, 
I got I don't have my hard surface right here so I guess I'll just use the iron real quick normally I like using my wood press because it's a good great way of setting but I'm going between pressing I'm using this as a hard surface my other rotary cutter my Brooklyn revolver Let's get these on. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> Liz talking about Pink Panther is fun too, right? I'm like, I done went all the way back in my childhood. <laughs> uh... Ha ha, I thought the Pink Panther, that was Michelle. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't even know where that come from. That's the kind of crazy stuff. And that's why I was like all over the place at Scrap Club today. Because I didn't get the sleep I needed. It's like, when I go to bed at 5, I sleep till like 11, 12 or something like that. You know, so I get my rest. When I don't go to bed till 5 and I have to get back up at 7.30, that's, uh-uh, that's not going to work. But I did come home and get a nap. My daughter was helping me with one of the last things that needed to be booked today. She's going to handle that. She did that today. So she started calling me because she was trying to make sure she had the right date. First time I ignored that phone. I'm like, I am not waking up for this phone. And then it called right back. I said, well, I guess I better look at it. My daughter, phone stalker. If you don't answer, she'll call you twice. Then she'll call your house phone. She'll call whoever in the house or out with you. She'll call uh somebody that they don't have a darn thing to do with what you doing and then everybody start looking for you because she don't call everybody she's a stalker she's determined she gonna find me wherever i'm at okay i'm trying to get some sleep but she was at the place actually uh reserving stuff for me so Oh, it's up here. I'm like, where did my piece go? <laughs> it blended in with the other African prints. <laughs> I didn't see it. even remember the size of these blocks somebody's asking what size is the quilt that we're working on i don't know um i don't even have that information in here but we're making 60 blocks i do know that or well, we need 60 blocks right now i have 57 because <laughs> i've lost three let's get these pressed and then i can't or just get this Black Panther one so I can get that other one off. Black Panther. All right. So let's see. Got this Black Panther piece here. That's my top. And I'm going to put you up here. Just want to sew this one so I can get my number six off from putting on two pieces. Now we're doing the end caps. All right, end caps. So. They are cute though, I have to give them that. When I first started this project, I wouldn't have been behind if I had not been trying to fussy cut and make the African print all look the same and um, 
like you know they have so many different colors that if you cut it in one spot i'll show you what i mean on here it looks like two different fabrics but this is actually the same fabric because it's like depending on the print like this looks like it could be two different fabrics and so i would cut where all the stripes were in a fabric and then i would cut where were these color things these like gems was what that is where they would be in a particular block. And it was just, it was slow because I'm sitting up here fussy cutting every piece that I put in here. And when I just said, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I let it go. This has been a whole lot easier. I want to see if the one in here has an eyeball on it. Nope, so it doesn't matter. That's even better. This is one of those directional prints. But the eyeballs and this one, the eyeball is not gonna matter when it's sewn in because you can't, you won't see it in the seam allowance. But I wanted to make sure the other piece was like that. All right. Um, what else? Stephanie Harris is here. Hey Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Finally free on a Saturday evening and get to enjoy spending with you. Hey, welcome, girl. Welcome back. <laughs> Sue says, I hope everyone has their lottery tickets for tonight. I do not. I keep saying I'm a win, but I don't buy any tickets. You know, like God gonna just blow the ticket right in my hand or something, you know. But if you win, Sue... You can just send me just a little. I'm not going to be greedy. <laughs> I tell my friend Deborah, she she religiously gets her tickets. I be I tell her the same thing. Help a quilter out. <laughs> you down here where the other yellow is and last one of this set for this not this I got a whole nother uh, end cap so that would be determined to be a lie. Although I don't watch those shows. Every once in a while I walk past my husband's watching them. He just crack it up. I'm like, nope. I watch other shows that I like to laugh at. And he got his own one. His own that he likes to laugh at. make sure I didn't miss anybody else coming in I answered the size of Patricia Priest is here welcome welcome um, good night Vivian Mona did what is here don't remember saying her name earlier welcome to the chat um, I gotta get the first one off. Well, the last one. <laughs> All right. So this is our last set here. Turn them around. And I need the Black Panther. The right way, Janice is here. Hello, Janice. Welcome to the chat. I have a farm all picked out near our cabin. Perfect place for a quilt retreat center. All right, Sue. <laughs> she ready.
All right. One. And no, that's two. This is three. <laughs> so we're almost done with our 12. And it's nine o'clock. I'll do those other four up there. Maybe. That's the wrong side up. Right here. So this down. Mona said, I just got here. I was napping. Girl, I was napping too until my... It's a good thing I tell this phone to wake me up. Like, set a timer for 7 p.m. Because other than that, I'd have slept right through it. No one I got to come on at 8. That gave me enough time to get a little bit to eat. I didn't eat like a whole lot. But I ate something. And then... Um... Came in here, cleaned the machine, and cut these fabrics out for tonight because they were already pressed sitting on my board. And I need to figure out how many more I need, but I'm like, why count them all? Just keep sewing, and what you need pieces for, that's how many you need, plus the three blocks that are not here. So I can recount my blocks tonight just to make sure I'm still three blocks out that I haven't messed that up. And then I've got, I need four more now. So let's do that. Figure out where the next four are going with which blocks. Pick my best blocks for it. So you can go over here. You well, maybe not. Maybe not. Lime green would be better. Or purples or yellow we'll put this one that one right there this one or this one this one's right here this one so I got two so I got to make three blocks to this size but then I need to cut five pieces because I got two left. And then we're going to recount to make sure we're not losing anything. I've been putting everything in baggies. So that's what we're going to do. So let me sew this one on first just so I can get my fabric from my six off of my long arm. It does go a lot faster if you uh, pre-cut like you should, but you know. Who wants to be doing it the right way, you know? He says, I need to get a ticket. I haven't bought one in over 30 years, but I'm tempted. <laughs> uh, Stephanie says, T, will you have charm packs available soon? I don't have charm packs I, end up, I have uh, just a, a fat quarter bundles is all I have. 30 fat quarter bundles or you can buy the number of fat quarters you want in fours. I think I have those like priced like that. Um, I don't have charm packs. Uh, I still haven't, um, I'm still in the process of figuring some things out. And then I went and invested my money because I'm like, I got tired of looking at all the money sitting in my savings account, not earning any interest. So I ended up investing in some CDs and stuff like that. Um, so I do have a plan. I'm just trying to save more money. Because uh, I, I want to put my money somewhere else than putting it into a concrete pad in my backyard. I'd rather extend my driveway. So that's what I'm 
intending to do and then once I do that I have a, another plan um, so I don't I haven't been cutting a whole lot of AccuQuilt stuff that's why you all haven't heard me talking about kits I've been buying a lot of stuff or looking at stuff to make kits with I just haven't I don't have the space to lay out for kits and that's what I was going to do with my shed so I'm going a different round now I'm trying to get around my county or ordinance codes because they're making me do something that I don't want to do. I don't want to put a block of concrete right in the middle of my yard if I decide I want to, you know, I don't, I no longer want the shed there. And then the concrete costs more than the shed. So it doesn't make much sense. I may as well put concrete on my uh, driveway than to put concrete in my backyard. So I'm just saving more money for that. We need our uh, driveway extended anyway, so my husband doesn't have to park on the street. So that neither one of us will block the other end. All right, that's number one. Oh, I never did show you the blocks, did I? <laughs> Here is number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10. This is the one I was saying you know, where the fabric doesn't look like all the pieces go together. But then once it's done, I'm like, it's not as bad as it, I think it is, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm done. Uh, that was 10. This is 11. And number 12. So, I am getting them done getting closer to being caught up that's a good thing and i'm gonna cut these off so i can press and do the remaining four blocks that i have cut out i guess i could get two more uh fabrics and cut no, that's all the stuff I cut last time. I have to find it. I didn't put it up. I got my fabric uh, container in a bag right here at my feet. So I can just pull it up and cut what I need. I've been working out of it since the third Saturday of the month. All right. feel like I'm sliding out of the seat. <laughs> um, thanks, everybody, saying the blocks are pretty. Hey, Sheila Gage. People are saying hi to her. I don't know if... Oh, Mona's going back looking at everybody. I like this pattern a lot. Thank you. Oh, I, it's not my pattern. I'm just saying thank you. <laughs> it's Jen Kingwell's block uh, pattern, and it's called... Winsleydale, and this one didn't press up good. And it's um, you can buy it the paper foundation pieces for this, but as a challenge, Kevin and I were working on templates, so that's why we have templates. Uh, you can foundation piece this particular one. Believe you me, the next one of hers that we do out of the book quilt recipes that's what we're working out of that book. Believe you me we are going to pick one that does not use templates because there's 12 quilt patterns six of them use templates and six of them do not so we will be doing something without some templates okay we are not messing around next time okay just making sure i put the right thing on yep
All right. So um, Kevin and I was kept got tired of trying to figure out what we were going to sew on at Saturday Projects when we did uh, Tea Quilts Live with Kevin and Quilter. And so we decided to buy that book and then we, we have that book to work out of since we both like a lot of her projects. So it just makes it easy for us. We just look in a book and pick a project. A lot of you all decided to do this with us, so that was pretty cool. A lot of people have their tops done, had them done within 30 days, but Kevin and I wanted to just, it's no rush on these. We only work on this really when we're live, but since I'm behind, I'm playing catch up, and since this is the only day I'm sewing, I'm sewing with you guys. But normally, we uh, this is all that we work on. We don't go to the next step or anything like that until it's the time to go to the next step. But I've been so far behind Kevin the whole entire time. I'm playing catch up now. And that's because I don't pre-cut before I get to his house. He has his stuff all cut out ready to go. And he didn't have problematic uh, fabrics like I do either. So before I can even go to the next step, I need to have all 60 of these blocks done. Because I now got to divide them up into 30 and 30. And I need to know which set they're in almost where they're going in the quilt at this point so that's going to be where my um where my layout is going to make a big difference on um what fabric goes where and uh to make it so that i give the uh, eye a place to rest because my fabrics are so busy i don't want to put all these blocks right up next to each other Just take you. Got one more up there I need to press. I am so glad. I feel a whole lot better now that I'm getting to the last round. We're we're uh I'm piecing round number one, two, three, and we have four rounds on the center. So we're getting there eventually. So we're now getting to the next uh, month. April will be our last round. And then we'll do it that last round for April and May. We do 30 blocks a month. All right. So we're on the end caps now for the last four that I have cut. me so <laughs> uh, thank you Deborah Holloway she says your blocks are gorgeous Sheila's talking to Mona Mona's talking to Sheila Sheila says Miss Sheila D says, Miss T, do you carry that book? When I first started working, when we first started working on these projects, I did order in bulk and provide the books. But you can just, I, um, you can just go to Amazon. I'll give you a link for the book. I don't get um, as much money. I, I get like cents from you. You pay for fifty ish dollar book at amazon i get cents on it so i don't make money off of it not for real for real but i'll give you a link it's right now the book retails at 55 dollars 
and now they've got it on sale for 42 they it varies on what the price is i think this is the lowest i've ever seen it so i'll give you a link here um gotta hit the share button and then i had not pulled up my live on this phone so let me do that and i think i got the volume down yep don't want to double hear myself. <laughs> Good night, Jason says he's about to hit the sack. Good night. Thank you for coming in here. Um, Rhonda Barlow is here. Hey, Rhonda, welcome back. Sheila saying she's talking to Mona still. They Mona and Sheila talking to each other. I don't know what they talking about, so I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> You're welcome, Sheila. And then let me see if I can find if you want a foundation piece. This one, not all of them are foundation pieceable, but you can foundation piece this as well. So let me go back and get that for you too. So the first link is for the book. This one is for foundation paper piecing patterns. And I'm going to put that in here now. Paste. And say go. Alright. Should have everything you need there. You foundation piece it. If you were, uh, you know, doing it, you could get this done in a month easily. If you are using templates like kevin and i did um we got these the templates that came from jen kingwell i ordered the whole template set and it's it's kind of uh intimidating but you know you you got i've never done it it was uh something that we wanted to do and uh we knew before we purchased that we had to have templates this is the round that i just added on to my pieces so these are my side pieces and these are my end caps. So, yeah, so every piece in this block had a template. So, last end cap here. And I got one I still need to take off of my machine. Thank you, Joe Cormel. Says she loves my blocks. I will just draw in an EQ8 and make my own. Okay, yeah, because you can. The thing, well, you can. You'll just have a different size because this is bigger than a regular size piece of paper, or you're going to have to print on two pages and tape together. But you could do that. Or you can just make it your own size. I have, I always resize stuff if I want to. Like I said, we'll be on this for another two months to get our blocks done. And then we'll probably come back a third month and show you what we have because we'll put it all together. Because we'll be still working on blocks on the second month. And the third month, we'll either have it together to show it or we'll be sewing it while we're talking to you guys. It just depends on where we are. Me, I probably will be sewing my blocks together. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut this right now so I can get my four pieces out of here since I don't have anything else to sew right now I do like chain piecing it um, makes it so that you don't have wasted thread this one's really pretty I love the bright colors on that
getting closer. Black Panther in the middle. <laughs> and a flower in the middle. I fussy cut. Some of them I fussy cut the middles. And this one I fussy cut, but it's I don't know what this is, what this symbol means. I'm sure it means something. But it's there. And the last one, I did fussy cut it too. Just a fussy cut piece of fabric. <laughs> so, we got them all sewed so far for today. I got these two here that don't have... I don't have pieces for I got another project down here I'm working on I can't show y'all <sighs> and I put it down here because I didn't want you to see it <laughs> and now I'm moving it this is stuff I'm keeping all of my pieces from when I was working on those those wallet, corn wallet, or money wallet, ID things I was working on, whatever they're called. Those. I got pieces left over from that. All of these fabrics are already cut from, so that means I need to get fabric either out of the bag. And I can't remember what I've already used, but since I got just these two here, I can pick and choose what I need. Need something that looks more solid. <laughs> you know, and that's interpretive with African prints. I can't remember what I've used. And this is just some of it. Unless I need to look in the... I'm trying to figure out if I need to look in the container. I can't remember where I've been pulling fabrics from. So, let's see. This one would be cute on that. This is a lightwood green. I'm not going to be picky. I got two. All I need, I can't remember what size I was cutting. Because I cut them all. <laughs> I'm not going to be picky. Just get two. These are like my fat quarters that I end up cutting whatever I need out of. Then my larger pieces, and then I got the smaller pieces inside of a um, inside of a container down here as well. So these are my fat quarters. So I haven't used these. So they're different colors anyway than what I have up there. So I'm just going to press out a little corner here, cut me a piece that I can't remember what I need. I think they were six by seven, so I'm going to cut six and a half by seven and a half to make sure. And then I can cut all of those templates out. I don't, uh, unless I'm uh, die cutting, I don't tend to put starch on my African prints because they already got sizing in it with the wax. Um, but if I'm die cutting, I do starch these before I cut. I always starch before I die cut. So just to make sure we got enough, I'm going to do six and a half by seven and a half. It looks already way too big, but I'd rather do that than be sorry. Okay. Put this back. Now this will go in my scrap container because I've cut out of it. Right, and I need my templates back. I can at least get these two blocks done. Oops, my phone fell over. Um, 
thank you for my surprise. I love it. It's the perfect companion for my birthday gift you gave me. Yes. <laughs> You're so welcome, Miss Joe Carmel. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, I like this part that's not busy, but the other part is busy. I don't, I'm going to put them on here anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, these are super big, but I wanted to make sure I didn't make a mistake with the measurements because I was kind of cutting it close with the measurements that I had. So... Okay, over here. See, before I was only able to cut one fabric at a time, and then I started cutting six at a time. It made this go a lot faster. It's like, give up on trying to make this African print look um, like that. No, we're done. It's taking too much time. I would have liked my quilt a lot better, but I still like it, so it's okay. <laughs> it's not like I don't like it. You know, last one right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I still got to cut three more when I make the other blocks. And we'll do a quick count since I got a half hour left. We'll make sure nothing popped back in my bag or I have lost anything. <laughs> lost any more because I definitely need to get, I got a week to get everything else that I need done before April. Well, I got technically to the third Saturday in April, but you know, I need to be cutting fabric, right? I need to lay stuff out so I know what I'm cutting. So yeah, probably will not happen in advance. <laughs> it's enough if I can get them laid out and know if they're in the A stack or the B stack. need to make a plan okay so This one on here, we're just doing it. Like first two fabrics come out, we'll use those. <laughs> okay, whoops. I don't have a chain piece on here, so I got to hold the threads. Um, thanks everybody, saying they love the blocks and the fabrics thank you good night annette somebody must have said good night that i missed mm. good 
good night, Debra H. Um, yeah, we got like two, two or three Debra, D-E-B-R-A. Then we've got some people say Deborah. Some people pronounce it Deborah, uh, but I just call it Deborah. That's what the people in my neighborhood called it. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, about five versions of Deborah at least, and I think we even had a Debbie come in here. <laughs> so yeah, a Debbie or two. June and Judy's are popular names, too, in my chats. Okay. Got my, take off my threads. Always trim, trim your thread tails. Never leave them there. They just cause a problem. Get stuck in the next scene. Don't do it. Cut them. Heard the iron making a noise. I'm like, you about to blow up or what? I've been using this iron since twenty eighteen. My first tea quilts retreat. This is the Panasonic cordless iron. All right, I don't think it matters, but I was just making sure. Last two pieces for tonight that are going to be sewn, and then we'll do a count. 6 and 6 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we've got 18 already. That we did tonight. Press these two, and we've got like 25 minutes. We might get off early today. 
I'm going to count my blocks. If you all aren't talking to me, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I don't want to start making up stuff because I'm still kind of slap happy. All right. This is one here. I put the dark green on here trying because it was it would contrast with all the colors in there. And then this one was mostly dark print. So I put something that had a little white space in it to make it pop out. So, so that's my 18 for today. That's pretty cool if you get them cut, child. Mm -mm -mm. So hard head. Okay, so right now I just want to put those up there. I'm knocking thread off the wall. That's what I did this time. I don't know what I did last time. Okay. So we got a whole bag of blocks here. So let's count these. If I take two and put aside, that's 20. That's 10. And 10. So that's 30, 40, 50, 1, 52. Oh my goodness, don't make me pass out. 53, 54, 55. <laughs> I need five blocks. I think I think I probably do. I think I needed seven before. <laughs> Found two some kind of way. So I need five blocks. I'm missing five blocks somewhere. I'll go check two more spots that I have not looked before I make those. That is ridiculous. I am not impressed with my loosage of blocks. <laughs> loosage. <laughs> With my losing of blocks. I am not happy. So, yeah. We're going to put everything in here. So, we're bagging everything up. We're not leaving stuff out when I walk out of here. For those that haven't seen the blocks, I will show you what I have. Um, I have three of them that I've sewn. I'll show you one that's done. Just trying to make sure when I put them back in the bag, they don't get too wrinkled. Um, so they're kind of stacked on each other. So I need five blocks. That's kind of depressing. I don't know why I thought it was three. That's why I count. Trying to make sure I got them off the board back there because I had some back there. I'm like, were you behind me? <laughs> um, Sheila says, I have quilt using my cordless Panasonic iron because every time I go to use it, it is automatically shut off. A lot of irons do that, but um, when I'm sitting here, I only use this iron when I'm sitting here and then when I go on quilt retreats this is the iron that I normally take I am going to see if my Rowenta mini iron I'm, uh, Jason used his today and uh, I want to see if this can replace that because it's a little bit smaller one of the things I do like about the Panasonic iron and I don't have it in here maybe oh yes I do I got stuff sitting in it let's see 
is that when I'm done ironing, because it sits on a heated base is where it charges. So when I'm done, you just slap the lid on here. And uh, I can go home immediately. I don't have to wait to do anything. So I can actually press a seam right before I walk out the door, put this on, and I don't have to worry about it melting. This plastic has never melted. Again, I've had this since 2018. Every retreat I go to, this is the iron I take, and I just plop the lid right on it when I'm done. And uh, so I really like this Panasonic. I'm going to turn it back upside down so I can continue to put stuff in here while it's just sitting here until my next retreat. All right, and for those that have come in late and didn't see the block, this is what my uh, completed block looks like. All right. So that's what we're making. I got one more round. As I said, we have, we need 60 blocks for this particular quilt. Um, Kevin and I decided, because I was doing a lot of fussy cutting too, that we would do 30 a month. So that it wasn't so overwhelming, 30 rounds a month, like a square and a square, so a round every month for 30 blocks. That was 120 pieces we had to cut, and then 120 pieces we had to sew. And then while we were doing the live chat, Kevin has gotten his done, I think, every time. Me, I only get mine done if I have it pre-cut, and I've only done that maybe the first time or the second month. After that, I, I have, I've been cutting on the screen, so that's why I'm playing catch up. So, this poor child needs uh, five more blocks, huh? It's kind of, it's kind of making me want to cry. Um, one, I'm going to take, I got five squares up here. More than five. I'm selecting five. Since they already cut. Because I had cut extra squares for when I first started. Two. Three. Four. And five. So I have my five center. So I have to start all the way back over. And I'm going to push you back. And just stick them in this board. Maybe I will open them up. So that I can see. What will go on them. As I'm picking fabric. So I have to go back into my smaller container. Where I have the smaller scraps. Because I don't want to cut a fat quarter. For the smaller ones. So it gets bigger. You might need, you need bigger pieces. <laughs> uh Thank you, Stephanie. I thought she was gone. She says they look good, T. She must have been saying goodnight to somebody else. Melissa says thread quake. I did. Remember, I was also out of bobbins thinking of thread. And I did wind all 10 of my bobbins. So I got my 10 Bernina bobbins. So what's the day? Uh, March 23rd. I want to see how long do I sew on 10 bobbins. They last so long. At T-Quills, what color will you use to break up the busyness of those blocks? It's coming in part in the next two months. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Um, I know some of you all saw some royal blue, but that's not what it's going to be. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, I think. It's either going to be interesting or very bright okay <laughs> uh, Carla just posted her round robin that's cool everyone needs an iron purse Melissa yes that's exactly what it looks like an iron purse it's got the front kick out I showed you all this when I purchased it and I got my Tula pink iron in here I haven't used it yet because I love my Panasonic iron being cordless I don't know why I bought the Tula pink iron I, I just did okay I just did. I have no reason to have it, but I got it. Yeah. And for people that haven't seen the Tula Pink Iron, this is the Tula Pink Mini Iron. Um, I'll take it out and show it to you. When I ordered, I have 
done some other ordering and they didn't it took them forever to get this iron they kept pushing the date back on when it was going to be coming out so yeah so this is the tulip pink iron it has a light right here jason used his today he did not put water in it and the other side looks like you know the other side and this is the back and then i'll give you a full frontal view the trivet comes with it the case does not Thank you, Carla. Did you get something in the mail from me? Oh, okay. I was like, did you get something in the mail from me? Um, Gorgeous Blocks Tea. Finally got it done. Yeah, she's talking about that round robin. I still haven't started. I think I'm just going to make something scrappy. I was going to do the Blazing Star, but I don't know if I want that either. So I don't know. I still haven't started. I'm hoping this week I get what I need to get done. We've got one more week. Uh, Melissa says, I saw the haul. Completely cool. Yeah. Lenora Brown says, good night, T and Quilters. Good night, Lenora. And Sue says, where can I get the iron purse? I can order you one. I can't remember. You know, uh, I got a checkers one here. I, the girl got checkers receipts down here, but I doubt they'd be the right one. Patterns and notions. Let's see. Because mm, I just put this on. Um, the irons retail. Uh, this this one's the old. They don't have a date on it. Does it have a date? January 9th. Uh, I think the. I don't know if all these irons are the same. But the regular mini iron with the trivet is. Uh. $112. I'm trying to see what the iron purse, as they're calling it, costs. <laughs> I don't know if I have it in here. I may have to look on my phone. Because uh, that was the one where they kept doing back orders on it. I had ordered this stuff back in. They supposed to have come out in November. And I had put my order in, and it never came. It didn't come until January. Right before I went on my uh, cruise. Okay, it's not here. Let's go online. So, let's go to Google. Google, everybody goes to Google. <laughs> Search for... Ugh. So let me see. I'm going to give y'all the full size Oliso Tula urn. Let's see. $220 for the full size. And then the mini urn for Tula, it's 85. So I was wrong. I, I said 100 and something. It's 85. And then I got to find the, I put in Tula urn and it's giving me thread. Like, uh, hello? It's not even Tula's thread. It's like Coates and Clark and everybody else. <laughs> thread like uh, excuse me hello <laughs> you are not anything with iron okay so i don't even see it pop up okay 
I hate uh, searching on checkers. It is just not a good thing. So let me go to uh, select a vendor. See, I, I'm hoping it's Oliso that makes it, not Tula. Oliso. But it's saying it's only got two items. Like, they must be out of stock. Because this says Oliso on here. Hold on, let me take this other search off. Make sure that's not what my problem is. I'm going to go out and go back in. And just go to vendor. Search. Yep. So the Tula iron only costs a few dollars more than the non Tula. And see, I didn't know that. It's instead of 85, it's 80. So it's only five dollars more for Tula iron. And I gotta get oh lord, why do I why did I go out? Checkers. I don't know what that is. Uh, website. Search for Oliso. Go. Okay. And they're calling it the Carry Bag TG Plus. And then the Carry Bag for Travel Irons. <laughs> I already got two in my cart. So they're, um, they're $20 each for this. So it does have two different types of wool. It's made out of wool. So I was kind of surprised. It's either wool or felt that wouldn't burn. I'm almost thinking it must be felt because the price of $20 for this doesn't sound like it's wool. It must be felt. And it's got like accent stitching, two-tone gray, darker gray, light gray. And then it's got like some accent orange stitching. See that? And it's on the bottom too, but you can hardly see it in the lighter gray from on the screen. But I can see it very well in front. Round zipper. So, yeah, 20 bucks is not a bad price for this. I got two in my cart because somebody else wanted them. Um, and... And that's all I got in my cart. So I have to have a minimum of $200 order. So I have, you know, I'm still waiting on that. So if you want something, just let me know. Now let me go back and read all this stuff. <laughs> well, that's not bad. Uh, Tula Pink Iron is total cuteness, and that is reason enough. Right. It, I was surprised that it was only $5 more. I didn't know. When we were at the show, they ran out of them at the show. They ran, they had the regular irons, but I was, the regular mini irons, but I, and then when I went and ordered, and they kept pushing the back order date back, and I'm like, well, I just got to order. Uh, Sue says, I have that iron, just want the purse. Okay, I'll add another one in the cart here. Um, quantity to three. Yep, it's in there. And good night, Zandra. Um, is it, is it, because it's still, it's the same price as the small iron here. I just said that they were 80 bucks. She's saying that she saw the small Oliso on Amazon for 79 and the Tula Pink is 84 So I don't know if they're any cheaper on Amazon, but that's what, I'm looking in checkers and that's what they're selling it for. So 79 is the price. It was $79.99. That's $80. <laughs> and the other one was $84.99. That's $85. So, yeah. 
Yeah, this case here is the most reasonable iron bag I've, case I've ever seen. 20 bucks for for the quality of the work on this is not a bad idea. I Jason and I thought today that it was wool, but I don't think it's wool because I don't think that you could sell a completed wool bag. And I've thrown away, let me look again, see if it's saying anything. They don't tell you that type of stuff on the website. I can, I can see up close. I can't see far away. Take the glasses off, girl. And then it's saying, please note, Oliso items only. They can be only sold by Oliso on Amazon, eBay, Walmart. Okay, that's what they say here. Made of strong, durable polyester felt. I told you it was felt, and it's even got polyester in it. But you still can put the iron in here because they come with their own trivet anyway. So the iron, all the irons, whether it's a Lisso, uh regular or Lisso Tula Pink, they all come with their own trivet. And so you just put the whole thing in here. She says it uh, provides stylish protection for your iron from dust dirt and scratches it's practical for storage and travel to classes and retreats with its comfortable handles a practical design with large opening with smooth heavy duty zipper for easy access flexible open tip accommodates sole mate sole plate protector they're talking about the trivet and then they're also saying that it is designed by our team in California. We stand behind our quality and performance with a dedicated service team ready to help. Bag only. Iron and accessories not included. Iron must be cold before placing in the case. They do have that disclaimer on there. Iron must be cold before placing on case. The size of this um, for the mini iron is a 4 by 4 by 7 and it just looks bigger than that, but that's what it is. Four by four, so four high, four wide. It's higher than four. <laughs> it's higher than four with the iron in here. I've got maybe five, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a little over five high on this back kick thing here. That's pretty high. This back kick thing is like five inches, so. Yeah, with the iron in it. And it's got the little Lisso tag, so you know it's an official Lisso bag. But yeah, 20 bucks. I, I knew it couldn't be wool for that price point. But 20 bucks for this bag is not a bad bag. So. For all the work they did. And <laughs> Melissa talking about, I couldn't make an iron purse for $20. We're going to call them iron purses. <laughs> it is the cutest little thing, though. <laughs> if it didn't have this opening in it, you could just walk around and have like, and people be wondering like, none sores. I think you got something. <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> it's just cute with the decorative top stitching, the two-tone of the gray. It's just it's just different. <laughs> Sue says, a new fashion statement, iron purse. Right. <laughs> Kim says, that Tula Mini is so cute, but I have a perfectly functioning yellow one already. Dang it. Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah, because they came in yellow, like coral, teal. I think those are the three colors. It might be another color. But, yeah. Yeah. My brother says, good night, everyone. Stay safe still. Come back Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for live chat. I had a comment saying that they wanted to see me sewing. And I go, I sew every Saturday. So I just want to make sure my new people, when I come on on Wednesdays, that's a one-hour chat. Sometimes if I'm behind in sewing, I will sew on Wednesdays. But Wednesdays is the day where I do mostly announcements. I'm just chatting with you guys. You all can ask me questions about projects you're working on. Um, I might um, 
do a demonstration if I keep if I get a lot of questions on a particular topic. You just never know what's going to happen on Wednesday. And this comment was put on my Wednesday's video. I just want to see you working on projects. I'm like, I am. <laughs> but that's on my Saturday sew and chat. When I only had one uh, chat a week, then I would do a combination of whatever I had. It would be hauls and all of that. Sometimes my hauls are so big that they have to go to Saturday because otherwise I would be on Wednesday instead of one hour. I would be on for two hours. So that's... Sometimes uh, my Saturday may not be a sewing thing, but I, I will let you know that in the title. If I don't put a title up there telling you what my subject is, that means I don't know at that time when I made the live what I was going to be working on. Uh, if I say it's a haul, that's one of those ones that you can just miss. You don't want to see me on Saturday with a haul, then you can just skip that. But there are times that stuff come in. I need to send stuff back out. Um... I need to do a haul on a Saturday so that I can get orders out on Monday. So every once in a while that happens. have to be flexible a little bit, you know, depending on what's going on in my life. So just want everybody to be aware of that. Melissa says she wants a shoulder. This girl trying to wear this thing. <laughs> you talking about she want a shoulder strap. <laughs> Good night, Sue. Good night, Sharon. Good night, Ray. You all, I'm going to end here. You all stay blessed. Be safe. Quilt out. See you Tuesday. We got one more week of March, y'all. Bye. <laughs>